I first showed how to style KDE like Unity three years ago, long before anyone was worried about Unity disappearing from the Ubuntu desktop. While I did show a slight update, we have seen the more advances in KDE, which allows us to get a lot closer to the Unity desktop. I previously showed how to get the Unity style with GNOME, and it required quite a lot of add-ons. So how many add-ons do I require with KDE Plasma? One, and it's entirely optional. Everything else I can do with the pre-installed components in Plasma. The current application launcher doesn't exactly look like Unity. Nope, fair enough, I appreciate that. So it's easy to change. So right click, go to alternatives, and select the application dashboard. Now we have a Unity-like dash, and you can search for the applications and documents from here. Normally the Unity launcher is on the left hand side of the screen, so to move this current panel at the bottom of the screen, I'm going to click on the hamburger menu on the right hand side, select a screen edge, drag and drop it onto the left hand side. I'm not sure why that wasn't rendering there, but let's go back, select it again, go to the width and just make it a little bit wider. Now right click on the empty area where the applications would be, select alternatives, and go for the icon only task manager. Switch. Done. Let's take a look at how it is now. So open up something like uh, Terminal. Would have been easier for me just to search for console. That looks very similar to the Unity launcher. So right click and I'm going to go to pin it. So pin. Open up another application, the system settings. And let's have one more application, Kate. That'll do. One of the features in Ubuntu is the ability to switch between applications using the super and numeric key. So if I want to bring terminal to the front, I would use super and one. Super and one, yep, does the same in KDE straight out the box. So now I need a top panel. Right click, add panel. Now, depending on your version of the KDE desktop, I believe it is 5.8. It gives you the ability to add the global menu. If your version of Plasma is older, you'll only have the choice of a default panel and an empty panel. Just take the empty panel if you have no other choice. So I'm going for the application menu bar. That will give me a global menu. Okay, it doesn't enable straight away. You have to go to, well, well it tells you the instructions to enable it, but otherwise you can click on it. Or go to fine tuning, menu bar style, in the application menu widget. Apply. Changes will take place on an application restart. Let's demo that, and I'll tidy that up in a moment. So open up Dolphin. Now we have a global menu. Let's sort out these panels now. Let's go back to the hamburger menu. To resize it, it's that arrow there at the bottom but on the right hand side. So resize that up slightly. Then I want the arrow at the top to move it down. Yep, and I think I got that exactly correct. Marvellous, brilliant. So once these widgets on the top panel, sometimes you can drag and drop them away, other times they land on the desktop like that. I mean, I haven't even got the mouse to that point yet. Not to worry, I can pick that up in a moment. So let's take the system tray. Come on, come on, here we go. And you're gonna dump yourself on the desktop as well. Very nice, doesn't matter. So I can pick these widgets off the desktop using the hamburger menu there, and then drag and drop them up into the panel. Same again, drag and drop into the panel. Uh, it's that way around, isn't it? So I've got that slightly wrong. Drag and drop that to the correct point, excellent. Now I'm going to add a couple of widgets into the top panel. So use the hamburger menu again, add widgets. The first one is a shutdown menu, which is called a lock log out. So lock log out, drag and drop that to the right hand side. The final widget I'm going to add is an entirely optional widget. This is to get the close, maximize, and minimize buttons into the panel. Click on get new widgets, and go to download new plasma widgets, and do a search for, looking for active window. Active window control. Yes, that is the one I'm after. Install. Back to that hamburger menu again. Add widgets. Active window control. Drag and drop that to the left hand side. Now to customize it and bring it closer towards Unity. You can start with right clicking on the lock log out settings and disable the lock button. Apply. 
Now that just leaves a shutdown button. The default action won't be shut down just yet, but I'll modify that a bit later on. Now I want to change this active window control. So right click on that, and go to the active window control settings. There's quite a few different options you can change here. Right, so I'm going to untick the show window title. I'm going to take away the window icon. And then go across to the buttons. Enable control buttons. So I want to show, minimize, maximize, and change the button order to uh, what we do want. It's going to be close, minimize, maximize. I want the order to be. I want the button size to be increased. Yeah, that's closer. Yeah, that's it. And behavior, tick the do not hide on mouse out. Right, so that's a close, minimize, maximize button right there. Perfect. There's a couple of packages I'm going to install. There's Ubuntu Mono to get the Humanity icon theme, which I don't think looks as good as the Breeze icon theme, but okay, your choice. And the DMZ cursor theme for the mouse cursors, which again, I don't think looks as good as perhaps some of the other cursor themes. Now let's go across and finalize everything in the system settings. Start with workspace theme. There's one new theme I would like to install. So I'm going to go on the look and feel and get new looks. Now this feature may not exist in all versions of the Plasma desktop. If it doesn't, then you have to download the components individually. Right, I was looking for the United theme. So install that. Right, then select United from the list. Apply. And that's the default ambience theme. Well, most of it. Mouse cursors, DMZ white. That's it, don't need to change anything for the splash screen. Colors, well, it's chosen ambience from the list, so nothing to do here. Fonts, I'm gonna adjust all fonts, change the font to the Ubuntu font. I'm gonna make one, I've had a little change while I'm here on the anti-aliasing, so I'm going to enable that. Configure, choose the RGB, hinting style, slight, okay, and apply. Yes, that's fine. So that's done. Icons. As I mentioned, there is the option to use the humanity icon theme, but as I said, I don't think that looks quite so good as the breeze icon theme. Let's open up Dolphin and I'll show you. Well, it's there. <laughs> you know what? Let's leave it. We can change it later. Yeah, you see it doesn't have the correct icons on the settings. Never mind. Let's go across the application style. So fine tuning is where you can change the menus. So I already have set the global menu. Window decorations. I'm going to download a new theme. And I'm looking for Blender Ambience. Yes, install that. Uh, yeah, Blender Ambience.zip, that'll do. Close and select it from the list. Yep, got the old close, minimize, maximize buttons. I know they're on the wrong side of the screen at the moment. So let's go across the buttons and change those around. So it's a case of dragging and dropping them to where you want them. So I'd like the close button on the left hand side, the icon on the right hand side, and the minimize button, the maximize button. There are, job done, apply. Let's go back, uh, desktop behavior. Screen edges, so there's a hot corner on the left hand side, which will show you all windows. If that's annoying you, you can turn it off by selecting no action. Although I quite like that feature, but it may get in the way if you're using the close button, so best to turn it off. While I'm here, I'm going to turn off the screen locking. That is annoying for me. That's it. The window management. If I go down to the Kwin script and get a new script, I'm looking for no border or maximized windows. Unfortunately, it doesn't really work now. It can cause Plasma 5 to become quite unstable. But it does away with the window title bar when you maximize the window. Right, start up and shut down. And then go across to the desktop session. So default leave option, change to the turn off computer. That's why when you use the shutdown button, it will go straight to shutdown. And on login, yeah, start with an empty session. So that should be most of the work now. Oh, one last thing of course, got to change the wallpaper. Right click on the desktop, configure desktop, change the wallpaper. That's done. And finally, I'll get rid of that button there. So go across to tweaks, show the desktop toolbox. 
And I dare say that's a pretty good replication of the Unity desktop. So thanks for watching, I'll see you all later.